We are continuing through the Nightfall Saga with a bit of a one-off, as in this issue, Killer Croc Hunt Downs Bane for a rematch on Detective Comics 660. This issue is written by Chuck Dixon with pencils by Jim Ballant, inks by Scott Hanna, colors by Adrian Roy with lettering by John Costanza, and is edited by Scott Peterson and the legendary Denny O'Neill. We open the issue with Killer Croc's own escape from Arkham during the big jailbreak at the start of Nightfall technically the issue before the number, the first numbered issue of Nightfall, in a flashback. Back in the present, Bird reports into Bane, and Robin contacts Batman by radio. But Batman is ex- collapsed from exhaustion on the roof. Below the school, Zaz is being taken into custody. At the apartment of an attorney named Detweiler, his client, the ventriloquist, stops by to get the location of Scarface. Robin decides to tail Bane, But Bane gets the drop on him. Speaking of getting the drop, back at the school, Bullock manages to surprise the Bat and says that maybe Batman should go get some sleep because if Bullock can sneak up on him, he's no good to anybody. Robin regains consciousness in the sewers, blindfolded, with Bane chatting with him while they stand on a narrow structural support. Don't like this. Can't see where I am. Can hear water rushing. Lots of water. Echoes. I'm in a large and closed space. I am very curious about you. You aid the Batman in his fight against crime, eh? And yet you are just a boy. I am beginning to understand your mentor. But you are a wild card to me. Where have I heard that before? Your name is Bane, isn't it? And the other one? The one who pretended to be the Batman? Just another one of our merry men. You know I went to the trouble of blindfolding you. It would have been much easier to simply blind you. But I appreciate youthful defiance. You struggle against your fear. I admire that. Really? Maybe I'll call you if I ever need a job reference. This guy is a world-class sickie. I gotta get away from him and free my hands. No room to move. Where are we? You may be useful to me yet. I imagine that the Batman would come to help you if he knew that you were in danger. Forget it, Bane. I'm no such hostage. Batman's not going to fall into any traps for my sake. Such brave words, such camaraderie. But you may be right. All of this gets the attention of Croc, who wants his rematch. Croc attacks Bane, who immediately goes for Bane's venom dispenser and manages to damage it. Robin slips his bonds right as support collapses as all three, Robin, Bane, and Killer Croc, plunge into the water below as the issue ends. This is, for the moment, a filler issue. It's, I want to say it's the only big one of the arc. We have a little one a bit later, but... That's basically what this is. It sets up a rematch for Croc between Croc and Bane. That's a draw. It doesn't continue into the next issue for a reason. And also, we don't really get a good follow-up on this. I'm just going to spoil this right now. This doesn't get revisited later in the arc at all. Um, at least Nightfall. So if this, if we get round three, it's going to be outside of the scope of this little series. The only real plot development here is continuation of Ventriloquist Skirt search for Scarface. Otherwise, um, everything else from here on is going to be fitting generally more readily into a series of mini arcs building up the climax. We're going to have like maybe one-ish, one or two more single issue ones leading up. Um, One with the aftermath, one giving a bit of aftermath to the the final fight between Batman and Bane. And then the a double and a big issue at the conclusion of nightfall but for a bit it's going it's going to be a bunch of little mini arcs going forward this one doesn't fit into any of those really well so i kind of got to do it as a one off but next time though who's up for some l- who's up for some laughs <laughs>, <laughs> (laughs) 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.